Well, here's our uh, camper van. It's a 1995 Ford Transit long wheelbase, um, 2.7 I think diesel engine. Um, not a banana job. And uh, we're just trying to get it ready for the MOT. And I thought I'd just do a quick video of the prop shaft repair to the centre bearing. There's two bearings on the prop shaft. Um, must be four pieces, I think. Or is it three? One, two, three. Three pieces, yeah. Whereas the short wheel base is only a two piece with a, with a single bearing. This has got two. And the rear one is shot. Totally shot. So um, I couldn't find anything on the internet much about changing it. But I thought I'd try and do a video of me changing the bearing on mine. So here's the diff at the back, and that's very easy accessible. Just take the rear wheel off, jack it up, put it on a stand, and that's very easy to get at. Uh, and then looking a bit further back, I think you should be able to just about see the first centre bearing of two, one of two. Both of those need to be undone and also at the um, gearbox end got to remove the four bolts that's holding the other end of the pop shaft on and then the whole thing should drop down out and then i can tackle the center bearing getting it off and uh, the prop shaft has to be separated for that um <coughs> just one thing these uh, screws or bolts that are holding the prop shaft on at both ends are combined allen key and bolts which is a bit unusual um, I don't think I want to try it with the Allen key. Uh, or actually, it's a it's a Torx. It's a Torx, isn't it? Star, not a, an Allen key. It's a Torx bolt, but it's also fortunately got a 16 mil nut on it, or bolt on it, bolt head. So I'm going to use a socket, an ordinary socket, to get that off. Half inch, um, 16 mil it is, and um, they're very shallow bolt heads too. So you need to get a good um, position on the socket. Um, before you try and take it, take it off, you can very easily round those off, and then you'd be in a world of woe. So let's do that first. Set up, and we'll uh, we'll move that one. Okay, here we are, set up on the diff on the rear prop shaft, and these are 16 millimeter combined bolts with uh, a star head Torx. Um, you could probably use a ring spanner on these. I mean, I didn't find mine particularly tight, but then I'm pretty strong and I tend to use my brute strength a lot. You need to get a good grip on it and that's not particularly a good um, fit, a ring spanner. Um, I actually used a 16mm socket, half inch. And what I made sure of is that I grips the extension against the prop shaft like that so that it didn't slip either side and round the nut off. So I held it like that, made sure I got a good pressure on it and then pulled it from there. And I didn't find them particularly tight. So they come up quite easily. I don't think I'd want to use a Torx uh, socket. Um, it'd need to be an all-in-one um, solid Torx, like impact Torx. I don't think you could use any ordinary socket type because they're just glued in um, and it would probably shear or break. But uh, I, I don't think you get it deep enough to get a good grip. The socket works perfectly well, so that's what I've used. There are four of them. So I'm going to undo all four of those. And then uh, the next step, let's just turn this around, is, uh, is the rear uh, bearing. Right, here's a centre bearing uh, at the rear and the fixings are TX40, that's a Torx bolt and there's no nut on this on, on the head of this so you've only got the option of using a, a Torx um, a socket and um, it's a T40, TX40. So let's see how we go with that. I've um, put plenty of WD40 on about a week ago and it's had a chance to sink in. It doesn't look too rusty actually. I'd normally give that a wire brush just to help it along a bit. Get rid of some of the crud and the rust so that you get a good fixing in there. Get get all the dirt out of the, the socket, obviously. So let's give that a try. Key thing here is to get the socket well in and to hold it in and keep maintain pressure on it so that it doesn't skid out and uh, damage the thread in there or the, uh, the torques. So let's see how we go. Oh gosh, that's loose. Look at that. 
Sorry, guys. I'm gonna use my straight edge here. I'm not gonna jump right now. I'll go like that. Very often. Just make sure I'm not getting the side of my cakes. That's the fixed nut. So I'm not just squishing it out. I'm gonna do a little extension this way. I was really worried about this job. I thought it was going to be an absolute bitch, but so far, fingers crossed, it's looking quite easy. It's come out really easily, so I'll do the other side then. And I'll probably put some support in for this because obviously it'll just be hanging then. It's quite heavy, this prop shaft, feeling the weight of it. So I'll find something to prop it out underneath, an axle stand or something. So as I take it off, this rear section will drop down, and this is the bearing I need to replace. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get the whole prop off to do this job. So the other bolt came out just as easily. And here is the rear centre bearing off and hanging. I'll need to support that in a minute. I'll go and get the support. And uh, there's the bracket that it came off there. In actual fact, even that bracket is held on by Torx bolts. Bloody things. I don't know why they can't use ordinary bolts, but still. So that's that. Um, now I need to support that and disconnect the diff. And then that lower, that rear section is going to drop down. There's the diff gone, and there she is. And those bolts are already loose, so I'll pull them out and lower it down. This is going to lull me into a full sense of security. I know it is. Got to think. Well, this is going easy. So daddy, now I think from what I've read this has to go that way in order to drop because there's a little bit of a lip here. Uh, where's my hammer? Because I haven't got it. Right. Oh there it is. And a screwdriver. Of course don't forget to mark the flanges as you go along um, so that you can put it back exactly in the same order. Um, because otherwise you'll lose your balancing on the shafts, on the prop shafts. Mark these. <laughs> it's going to take a bit more than that, I think. Um, oh yeah. Ooh, there we go. Look at that lovely job, mate. Oh, so easy. Right. That's that. So, just a quick look at the bolts here. Um, these are the bolts that um, uh, fix the prop shaft to the diff and to the gearbox ends. And they are a 16mm bolt head um, with a 50 Torx, I think. So that's that. These are the um, Torx bolts that hold the centre bearings on. There's two centre bearings, as you know. And that is a, what are we looking for this? Um, TX40, is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, TX14, that isn't a bad fit, but you really do need to clean that out in there really thoroughly before you try and attempt to undo these, because if they are rusted or tight, then uh, once you've chewed that, you're already in um, a world of woe. So I'm using TX40 again for the bearing uh, carrier bolts. <coughs> and a longish extension, so let's get a... It'd be helpful if I put the torch on, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can get the light on this. There we go. Oh, I wish I had a ramp. Come on. There we go. Yes. Right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's lovely and easy. That's no problem at all. So I've already put a toolbox underneath this part of the prop to support it when this comes off. Because the whole lot's going to drop now. Come on. 
we have in here? Ah. One down, one to go. Can't see what I'm doing over this side, but I feel my weight. That's it, I think it's in. It's very important to keep pressure on this so that it doesn't pop out of the bolt. There we go, I've got it going anyway. You can see the whole prop shaft starting to come down now. So I'm going to have to support this when it gets to the end. I'm just going to drop on me. I'm beginning to wish I bought two bearings now. Uh, this one looks okay, it's past the test. Whoops, there we go. So that's bearing, that bearing's off as well now. There's the carrier up there. Where is it? There. It's, uh, looks pretty good. Everything looks pretty good under it, actually, considering it's 1995. Not too much rust at all. I'm well pleased with that. Only the one bit of rust I had to do near a mounting point. Right, so next step now is there. Now we can see it quite clearly. Is the gearbox end. And they're exactly the same as the diff end. So we'll set up and we'll do them next. And then the whole thing's going to be off. Yippee! See you later. Right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, it's not a bad angle. The light is appalling. It's really bright sunlight outside. It's difficult to get a decent shot without glare. But there's the, the um, gearbox prop shaft bearing, which is better a prop shaft um, fixings we're going to have to undo. So let's see what we got. We've got a 16mm socket, half inch actually, we're using on this. Let's give it a go. Ooh, see how we get on. So you set a torch up on it. I might be able to. Ooh. Mm. That's better than nothing. All right. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> We're gonna knock the camera over, aren't we? All right. God, I wish I had a decent ramp. Oh. Definitely worth jacking this side up to do this job for sure. We've got a lot of swing room here. Let's try see how we go on. Ah, ah, that's what I didn't do. I didn't mark the flanges and I also haven't put it in gear. All right, this camera's not going to stay there, is it? First thing I'm going to do when I finish this job is get a decent bloody tripod. All right, is that it? Yeah, okay, so there we go. Let's give that a try. I've jacked it up at the front a bit actually, give myself a little bit more clearance. Um, it's only a couple of inches, um, but it's enough really to make it just that bit easier to do this job. Oh, ah, it's very good access, really, I can't complain. Jesus, could be a lot worse. Oh, right, and I put it in gear, which is very important. <laughs> Ooh, come on. Ah! Yeah, it's quite tight, but it's doable. I needed to hold the prop shaft here because otherwise it would have turned the gears. Uh, let's look at something else I'm going to do while I'm there. Is I'm going to mark this uh, flange so I know exactly where they go back together. Tried to sand that off and paint it, but that should do. That's fine. All right, let's get some of these off now. That was so easy. That was. It got me drill actually. I had to whiz them off quickly. Use a half inch or three eight uh, socket adapter. A drill, a cordless drill, make easy work of that. And one down. Make 
sure you get this well on the nut. You don't want it slipping off. Yes, I think it's gone. Yes, it has. Yeah, you can get access to the other two bolts without um, having to turn the prop shaft, hopefully. Tighten that yoke there for the spanner. There we go, that's another one. Right, let's try one of the top ones. <clears throat> this is going to be a sod. I don't get enough of a swing on it. Ah, hmm. uh, I might need to use a longer extension. Let's try that. Oh, you have the technology. I don't like using longer extension because it means there's a much of a chance of it slipping off the flipping nut. There we go. Anyway, let's try that. Jesus! Ah, that's moving the, the prop. Mm, I need to hold against that um, somehow. I don't think it went, did it? Let's try again. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Cramp. Oh, oh. Do this, I really don't. My age, I'm 68. That's crackers. Ah, oh, I should be sitting up. doing nothing on a Sunday. Well, going out on my motorbike. That's what I should be doing. Still having to do this crap. Still, once it's done, get it MOT'd, then it's a viable concern. Then I can either use it to go away on holiday, or, or I can sell it before the summer's over. Get a decent price for it. I think there's a lot to do to it yet, yet. so I think I suspect probably uh, I'll still have it next year. Right, here we go, last one. Oh, I wish I could get nearer to it. Jeez, that's just going to be the one, isn't it? Gotcha. Yeah, got you. I think I've got it. Jesus! <laughs> this is going to be the one, isn't it? This is going to be the bloody one that won't go. I could try banging it, I suppose, with a hammer. Give it a shock. Fucking needs a shock. So we'll not, we'll get a swing on it. Nah, I can't get a swing on it. Nah, I can't get a swing. Come on. Yeah, gotcha. I haven't found anything to resist me yet. I'm lucky really, I've always had a huge amount of upper body strength to use on stuff like this. A lot of people haven't got that ability. Struggle. Ooh, ooh, I don't think that's going to go any further with the socket on it. Take the socket off. There we go. Last one. Right, so now this little baby's coming off. Oh, fucking, there's always something in the way, isn't there? Hmm. I'm going to hit it somewhere. Can't see what I'm doing anyway. Oh, that hasn't been off for a while, has it? Yeah. Just loosening a bit. Now it's down to one of the pipes. Maybe you get a jack out and jack it. Just haven't got enough swing there. The bloody mounting there, it's all mounting. Right. See if I can get 
a screwdriver in the joint. <clears throat> yeah, baby. There's only four bolts, isn't there? Way to use a claw hammer. Okay, I'm gonna get it in there. Oh, me. Just can't get to him. Sod. I'm doing something wrong here, am I? That's just. It's gotta come off. Just jammed on there, isn't it? Maybe, yep, I think it's gone now. That's it. What's up, bastard? Yes, she's off. Flip me. Right then, guys, we're, we're in business. That's the whole prop off now. The flange is marked. Lovely jubbly. No leakage from that. My gearbox, good. So now all we got to do is just get that centre bearing off and replace it and put it all back. So, signing out for a minute. Phew. All right, there she is, boys and girls. It's a long bastard, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so, here's the forward bearing. And uh, it looks okay, it passed the MOT. I'll see how difficult it is to get off the other bearing, the rearward bearing. She's totally shot this one. As you can see. Um, and if it's not too difficult, I might do both <coughs> while I've got it off. I don't want to make work for myself, but at the same time, it would make sense to do them while it's off. That's a nut I've got to undo in there. <coughs> that isn't going to be easy either. So the next job we're going to do is we're going to try and undo this tab washer on here. This on the lock nut. Right, we're going to separate this joint here, and uh, it's actually not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. First of all, you need to uh, lift that tab. There's a locking tab on that nut just in there, and I'll flatten that off now. And then um, it will take a 17 mil sock, um, ring spanner, and it just fits in there. Look, a treat. So you've just got to find the right position for it. And obviously it's better to have a, a 12 point ring rather than a 6 point because it gives you more options. Let's get that on there now. What I don't want it to do is to slip off while I belt it. So what I'd do, I'd suggest you do is put a screwdriver behind there and jam it in there. And that will stop that spanner flying off when you hit it or when you pull it. And won't chew up the, the nut. Okay, so let's give that a go, see if I can get this camera set up. Bloody useless thing. God, one of these days I'm going to get a decent camera that will last for half an hour without packing up. And we'll stand up without falling over. Okay, let's give this a go then. So, actually, I think I've pre-loosened this. I think this is going to be very easy, but I'm just going to smack it with the hammer. Yeah, that's it. 
loose. So now we undo that nut. going. And then you can see the spline in there. That's dry as a bone that is. We have to grease that up really nicely before we put this back. But I've got the tools. There we go. It's out. All right. So there's our bolt, 17 mil bolt fine thread with the lock tab and now that will just come out. Now did I mark this? Um, I don't think I have so let's mark that before we go any further. Yeah. Absolutely no mistake in that. She's off. Look at that boys, there she's off. <clears throat> it surprised me if I have to use a grinder to get that off actually. Let's take that into the shed and see what we can do with the big boys toys. Right, now we've got a decent tripod, we should be able to see what we're doing. Hopefully. So first thing to do is to remove this rubber part of the uh, bearing. Switch the hammer to get it off. There we go. Right. Now we've got to get the whole bearing off, and that's going to be the difficult bit. I've seen people do this with a chisel and nail, but. The trouble is, I haven't got a vice out here. All I need is a vice. How lucky is that? It's starting to go. Now, indoors comes back and sees me doing this on a garden seat. She's going to do it up. She doesn't see what goes in the oven sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going, it's going. Right, we're nearly there. A couple of last smacks will cut that off now. I think it should be just my luck. Hit me in. How's your father? How's your father's? I'm smack. Oh yeah. Where's it gone? So the actual bearing is not all that deep. It's uh, the bearing surface is probably about uh, 12 mil, something like that. Maybe 15. I think it's more 12 mil. So it's not too much to knock off, and that was quite easy. So now all I've got to do is clean that up, ready for the new bearing. Marvellous, it's all going too well. So here's the other bearing, and actually that looks as though it's going to be okay. It's starting to go, but for the amount of use that I need to get out of this room, I think I'll go with that and keep it, save myself some work. And I won't have to have any delay waiting for another bearing to come through the post either. I'll maybe get this back on this afternoon, which would be brilliant. Alright, that's what I'm going to do then. <laughs> 